I'm Steve from This Week With Cars, and today I'm back with the 1976 Ford Bronco. The parts that I ordered for the Bronco have been on back order for many months, and they finally arrived. Last time, I found out that I was not getting any sparks of the engine, so today, let's replace some parts and see if we can get a spark and maybe even get the engine running. Last time, I suspected that the ignition module, this box right here, was bad. We can see goo leaking out of the box from the underside. So today I'm going to start by disconnecting this and getting it out so that I can install a new ignition module. There was two bolts up front, but there's only one in the back. The goo is really holding on to it over here. So this potting material here on the circuit board is starting to fail and come apart. You see how liquid it, it is now. Here's the old ignition box and here's the new ignition box. The first thing that you notice is this one is a lot heavier than this one. Probably three or four times heavier than the new one. If we look underneath, you can see the contents take up a lot less room in the new one. This one probably has a more modern circuitry in it. And this potty material is completely different than this old potty material. So this should be a lot more resistant to weather and moisture. So I'll get this one installed and then we can check and see if we have spark again. With the ignition module installed, let's install the spark tester again. That way we can see if that solved our problem. And we have ignition now. I'll turn the ignition on and crank it over. If we see a flash here, we now have the ignition system working. I went to turn the ignition on and discovered something. So let's turn the ignition on. Let's even turn the turn signal on. Nothing's happening. And I figured out why. In the engine bay, we have our ground cable, which goes down and connects to the engine right there on the head. And this is incorrect. The correct cable for a Bronco should have three points. It will start here at the battery. It will go down and connect to the body here on the fender. And then it will go down to the starter, giving the starter a good ground. And the reason the ignition and none of the lights are working is because we don't have that body ground. The engine is grounded, but the body's not. So if we take a wire real quick, and I'll connect it right there, and then the other end of that, we connect somewhere to the body, like so, we should get the ignition and the lights to work. So let's go turn it on and try it again. Turn signals are on right now, but you can see it's not flashing. I'll touch the wire to the body ground, now you can see it does flash. So I'm going to make up a little ground cable that we can have connected from there. I'm actually gonna take the solenoid back out and clean this area so that I have a really good ground to the body. And then we'll see if that solves our problem. I have my bolt over here removed and that's all cleaned up. Then over here on the solenoid, that's where I'm going to put the other end of the ground. So I need to take my grinder and just clean that up a little bit. Now we have a good contact patch for that body ground. I still need to tighten that end down, but it's going to come along the purple wire and then over to here. And all of this will be screwed together. And our turn signal is now flashing again. Now that the ignition should be on, let's try to turn it over and watch for our spark. Okay, we are finally getting spark. 
So the next thing we need is fuel. We can easily get fuel to our horrible looking carb because there's a hose right here. Looks like this hose is already tearing. It's not in very good shape. So I'll undo the hose there. That's a fuel filter right behind it. And I'll just connect my fuel drip tank to the fuel filter. We'll put some fuel in the carb and see what happens. I've got my fuel drip hose connected. We'll open up the valve. Now we have fuel filling up the float bowl. Sounds like it's at the top. Doesn't appear to be leaking anywhere. That's actually pretty astonishing. I'll shut the valve again. I guess let's we'll see if it starts. We'll give it a couple pumps. There is a little bit of fuel seepage here below the accelerator pump. Let's give it a go. See if I can choke it a little more. Maybe give it a tad bit more fuel. Let's try it again. We do have an oil leak forming now below the truck, so we'll have to investigate that. Yeah, we can see the oil spilled all over. That is the hose that goes to the oil pressure gauge. So we definitely had oil pressure, and I'll need to fix that hose before we fire the engine up again. That's going to be it for today. We now know that the Ford Bronco will run. Next time, maybe we'll see if it can drive. But before I can drive it, I'll need to get the engine running a little better. So if you want to see more videos like this, comment below and click subscribe.